Hi, this is Miss Diorama. In this video, I will show you how I made this rotating hobby paint rack that actually fits a whole mega set of the Army Painter paints. That's 50 of their 18 mil paint bottles. So stick around if you want to see how I made it. I'll also have a link in the description to the template files if you're interested in making one for yourself. Just keep in mind, the template will be in SVG format for laser cutters. In my last video, I made a storage rack for these Tamiya 10mm enamel paints. And I liked the design so much that I adapted it for a whole mega set of the Army Painter paints. If you own Tamiya 10mm enamel paint bottles and want to make this rack for them, the template is also available in my shop in SVG file format for laser cutters. For this new rack, I'll start with the base. I use 3mm thick MDF for this project, but you could also use 3mm thick plywood or acrylic instead. That is, of course, as long as your laser can cut acrylic. I will also be using PVA wood glue to glue all the parts together. I begin by making three spaces. Then I glue three of these ring gear parts together, making sure they are perfectly aligned. I'm going to incorporate two planetary gears into this paint rack. Each planetary gear will act as a mechanism to allow the shelves to easily turn. If you decide to make this paint rack for yourself and want to follow along with me, I've integrated automatic chapters to make it easy for you to navigate through the video at your convenience. Then I glue the spaces evenly apart onto one side of the ring gear. Now this ring with spokes is glued onto the other side of the spaces. I then made a second one of these, this time leaving the ring with spokes off for now. We'll come back to it later. These are the rest of the parts needed to make the planetary gear system. Now it is time to make the planetary cogs, also known as the planet gears. Insert a 15mm long piece of 8mm diameter dowel through each of these cogs. Each dowel should extend 3mm out either side of the cog. There are three of these to make all together. Now I will make the sun cog, also known as the sun gear. The planet gears will rotate around this sun gear, which is why this is called a planetary gear. I'll show you how it works shortly. These parts here will form the framework for the planetary gear. I glue three spaces onto the bottom side of the holder first. Once the glue is dry, the top side of the holder can then be glued on, but not before the three planetary gears are inserted into the three holes that are provided in the bottom side of the holder first. The sun gear fits right into the middle. Now the top side of the holder can be attached. This now forms part of the planetary gear system. I make two of these all together. Now it's time to assemble the bottom shelf. It will be made up of these four main pieces. I first apply PVA wood glue to the underside of one of the pieces. A 
and also to the engraved side of the very bottom piece. I proceed to glue them together making sure everything is properly aligned. I use clothes pegs to clamp everything together while the glue dries. These are the two upper pieces of the bottom shelf. I apply PVA wood glue to the underside of the first piece. And it gets glued to the underside of the final piece. Now I can insert all of the tiny spaces into their respective slots. I first apply PVA wood glue to all of the notches. Then the tiny spaces are inserted into the notches one by one. Then apply wood glue to the notches on the upper part of the shelf. Both parts should fit together perfectly with a little persuasion. That's the bottom shelf completed. Now to assemble the top shelf. This is much the same process as was used for the first shelf. Now I can insert the tiny spaces into their respective slots. Again, both these parts should fit together perfectly. Now I'm going to make the planetary gear assembly that's located underneath the bottom shelf. 
First, I add this ring with spokes to the underside of the bottom shelf. Then I make some more risers and glue them onto the outer ring. This large ring spacer is glued to the centre of the base piece. This is then followed by one of the ring gears that was made earlier. One of the planetary gears made earlier will go here, but first a tiny adjustment needs to be made. The centre dowel must extend at least 12mm from the bottom of this sun gear. I will soon show you why this is so important. Now I will show you the reason the dowel should extend at least 12mm beyond the sun cog. I will be gluing these feet underneath the base. The feet will keep the bottom of the paint rack slightly off the surface that it sits on. This ring here is also glued into the centre of the base. When the dowel is inserted into the hole in the centre, it will extend 3mm beyond the hole. And this disc can then be glued onto the end of the dowel, which will keep everything together when the rack is either picked up or moved. Unfortunately, this rack missed out on that little design change that I just described to you. But you can rest assured I've included the change in the SVG file template. With all the separate parts completed, I can now assemble the whole piece. The bottom shelf assembly will be attached with glue to the sun gear and to the centre dowel. To achieve this, glue is added underneath the bottom shelf. Another ring spacer is then added to the dowel above the bottom shelf. These ring spaces are purely for measuring out the distance to mark where the top shelf assembly will sit. After eight of these ring spaces, place a mark using a pen or a pencil. These ring spaces are removed. And then glue is applied above the mark so that this cog piece can be added and glued in place there. The ring gear assembly that was made earlier is then attached using PVA glue. Another ring spacer is added to the dowel above the ring gear assembly.
two ring spacers are then added to the top of the planetary gear assembly. Now it's time to create a tube with these rings through which the center dowel will pass. To create this tube, I first glued two rings at a time together. Then I glued two of these together to make a set of four rings. Then I glue two of these together to make a set of eight rings. Then I glue these two together to make 16 rings in total. While the glue on the tube dries, I'll start the assembly of the planetary gear for the second shelf. I then add the second shelf. For the gear to be able to perform its function properly, the tube will need to be glued to this handle. as well as to the top shelf here. And the top shelf in turn will need to be glued here to the sun gear. To do this, I first add glue to the spacer on top of the sun gear. Then to the bottom center of the top shelf. To that, I attach the sun cog and set this assembly aside for the glue to dry. Now to make the handles. There are two of these to make, one larger and one smaller. Now it's time to attach the tube to the top of the top shelf, making sure that the center dowel can still move freely inside the tube. Then the large handle gets attached to the top of the tube. The handle, the tube and the top shelf must be able to spin freely of the center dowel. If necessary, the top shelf assembly can be removed to prevent it sticking to the center dowel while drying. A small spacer is glued 6 mm from the top of the center dowel. This is followed by the small handle. And that completes the paint rack. Now a full mega set of the Army Painter paints can be loaded onto the rack. Thanks to the planetary gear mechanisms, both shelves can be turned independently of the other when fully loaded. You will actually need to hold the top shelf still if you want to stop it from moving while turning the bottom shelf. Otherwise, when you turn the small handle at the very top, the whole thing will turn. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I upload future videos. Meanwhile, thanks for watching and please stick around for a little bit longer to watch this slideshow I put together. I really hope to see you next time.